opposite direction. They're going, screw you professionals. <laughs> yes, and that's what I've heard. People really hate the thing. And they say, that's not professional, that's the opposite. Well, yeah, it's like they're trying... It, let's see, that's the thing. Professionals are picking... That's what I was saying. I recommend Caden Live and, edit, and editors like it over Cinderella most of the time because I know it's not what the average user is. However, if you're a true pro... I mean, they use Cinderella to do some of the scenes in The Matrix for Crime Out Loud. It, it is a great piece of software. And the same thing with Blender. It's more a Maya alternative than Sonic. Uh, but that, that's high-end stuff. That's people who are doing that for, you know, like 100K plus. Uh, the, the, and they expect a certain set of tools. That's not, oh, I'm a passive person who just has a passive interest in this. No, 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 no. That's not the tool for you. That's like... Well, sticking with Ubuntu uh, very briefly, the Beta 1 uh, for 11.10 has been released, and I downloaded that the other day and started to tinker about with it. And I think out of all the distros, there's one that can be guaranteed to get to mainstream, for want of a better word, coverage when it gets released. And that's any Ubuntu released is always the talk of the town, whether it's loved or hated. And I want to throw past you two guys just um, your opinions on the direction that they're taking with Unity. Now, my view has always been, uh, when I introduced uh, Unity to the, to the good wife, uh, she actually got on very well with it. Now, there's there's been some teething troubles with it, and uh, many users have uh, voiced their disdain for the, for the Unity uh, interface. But I think, uh, as a whole, it, it was in the right direction. What my problem with Unity, in particular, was, was that in its current state, and comparing it to other Linux distributions, it wasn't providing the out-of-the-box uh, functionality that you we've now come to expect. I remember maybe in 2008, 2007, you would get a new distro, you'd install it, and there'd be a few teething issues that you may have to work around. But I, 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 I put it back to 2006. There's two schools of thought on that. Um, I, I, one thing is for sure, it's going to alienate a lot of core users. I mean, mm. it, 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 it's, it, it's bad enough in some of those regards that Linus himself has made public statements. I don't like Unity. Um, Did he? Yes. What was it on GNOME 3, GNOME Shell? It, no, it wasn't on, you're right, it was on GNOME Shell, which is what Unity right. is based on. Okay, okay, okay. It, not, yeah, he doesn't like That's that the, direction. Yeah. Um, but it, it's there, there's two schools of thought on this. There's give it time, it's not cooked yet, two years from now it will be better. Uh, and that that's kind of what happened with KDE 4. You know, it, it's there was a period there of about 18 months where KDE 4 just was not ready to replace KDE 3. And everybody stuck with KDE 3 till it was. If that's where GNOME is, and by proxy, Unity right now, okay, in 2014, 2015, we'll take a look at it again and maybe it will have matured. But in the meantime, I wouldn't be putting it as your main thing on no. your distro. Uh, and this is this is my my problem. I mean, Unity, uh, I haven't actually been that, that that vocal with any issues I've had purely because, like I said, it was very well received by my wife. Um, but if it's if it is a case of give it two years, that won't cut it in today's desktop. Uh, Linux users, in fact, any uh, any desktop user wants to install something that's ready and working now, and they're not going to be put off. Yeah, and they're, they're not they're not going to be they're not going to be swayed by saying, "Well, stick with it for a couple of years and it'll be better." They want the function. Well, no, no, see, that's that's the yeah. thing. It it should be an option, but it should yeah. not be what the distros and, are using. And, and a lot of distros did that with KDE four. They set back. They didn't implement it. They said, mm. "Well, here's a beta if you want to implement it and screw with it," mm. but we're not implementing this as the main one. Yeah, because it isn't cooked yet. And it was my it was my point I've made quite a few times. It's I'm all for the development of Unity. I'm all for uh, for Canonical taking their own uh, their own direction. However, it should be an optional extra uh, for people who want to use it, not uh, not the not default. Uh, down your throat, and yeah. so you have to use it while we make it ready. Yeah, well, when, when it's ready, you find if they. But I mean, you have to take your hat off to Canonical because they're going their own direction and they're trying to appease or to trying to uh, cater for the more the mainstream user with Unity instead of just going with uh, GNOME Shell. They so, go for tablets now. I, I think that's the reason they... Have you seen the demos of uh, Ubuntu working on uh, devices now? I mean, they, I've seen some um, presentations of Unity in its current form. I think they, they really aim for 1204, so April 2012, 
with mm-hmm. the LTS release, they do want to have Unity in a good way, in a good state, so it will be maintainable for the next three years. And, and, and that brings up something I've been afraid of Canonical done for. Canonical is trying to become the Apple of Linux. They're desperately trying to do that. Well, uh, that's that's Mark Shuttleworth, I think. Uh, well, if, if, if you... Uh, if you substitute him with the company that he runs it, I guess, uh, I mean, he's still the one calling the shots as far as I know. He's the one doing the blog posts about, you know, oh, this is amazing, this is awesome, and he's got all these words that he uses, this is shiny, and he doesn't say shiny, but he says other words, and uh, and, and some of the things that he used to uh, demonstrate was the uh, notification area improvement, then he did the Unity thing, and then he recently did a blog post explaining, you know, uh, his plans with Unity, and, and 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 by the way, these things these things have copyrights with uh, Canonical, so so they get a bit more control over the uh, development of the desktop, which is opposed to GNOME Desktop, which has the copyright assignment uh, or the copyright policy, which is quite different. Uh, in this case, Canonical gets more control over the contributor's code, and it can do all kinds of stuff with it, even relicense, and even maybe make it a dual license thing yeah but, I mean I think at, I think at the end of the day Canonical is desperately trying to set itself apart from other distributions and I don't think Unity is a bad thing at all I've said it many times before I, I do think it needs a lot of work and as Rusty says uh, maybe in a couple of years time it's uh, yeah it's going to be ready but at the moment it just won't it, it just won't cut it as your default uh, position it's when you, you see well, no, sorry, that, that, that's the other divide there it, like you said, it was well received by your, uh, not you, but, uh, you, but you said it was well received by your wife. Mm. It, for the average non-Linux user, it's good enough because it provides the basic functionality they're used to receiving in Windows. But for Linux users, it's like, oh, it's as good as Windows. Do you want to insult me or something? It's like... <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, we were very quick when um, when Vista first came out, and uh, we were reading the complaints of other people to say that you know the attitude of oh it'll be better in the future just wouldn't cut it, and that was many years ago now. And so I think it would be hypocritical not to highlight the fact that you can't in this day and age release something that's half ready and uh, only half cooked. It has to be ready, and when it's implemented as your default position on a distribution, it has to be ready straight out of the box, otherwise it's not acceptable. Uh, uh, so when will there be a successor to XP then? Well, no, I, 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 honestly, I'm almost thinking uh, Canonical needs to back off of the... If, if it's just it's not cooked yet, they need to shelf all their plans for two to four years until it's cooked, because if they keep pushing this this way, they're going to splinter uh, the Ubuntu community. I mean, you already have Mint... They can to become Debian, not Ubuntu based. I, I was yeah. just going to say that. I mean, on Distro Watch yourself, I know we can't go off the stats, but y- you're seeing a lot of comments now about people um, who have actually wanted to stay with uh, you know, the traditional uh, GNOME desktop. And, uh, and Mint has built up a very good reputation of being out of the box and immediately ready for for everybody. And I know uh, Gordon, who was previously on the show uh, a few months back now, he was always... Uh, singing the praises of Mint, and from my experience from using it, yes, I've, I've enjoyed using uh, Mint greatly, and it's providing that little, it's providing what the users want, and at, as much as I'm loath to say it at the moment, Unity just isn't it. I'm quite sure in two years' time we'll be looking uh, looking back and saying, yes, it's great, and how well received it is, and uh, when people say they're trying to copy Apple, is that such a bad thing? If, it's, if it wins the hearts and minds of the average user and provides a decent, solid, uh, Interface and uh, well, well see, that, 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 spoke, I, I have mixed feelings on that. That's a bit like saying KDE is trying to copy Windows. Yeah, I was, was going to say something about that too. Yeah, did you uh, did you see uh, Windows 8 how it copies KDE 4 now? With the well, that that's because well, Windows starting with Windows Vista is uh, implementing more and more KDE code into yeah. the Windows desktop shell, and it's going to get more and more that way. You know, it's. And KDE is very proud of that, and I, you know, I'm fine with that. You know, it's open source. The NT users should benefit from it. I just and they, they laugh. Come up with a different name for activities now, and come up with some marketing friendly. Uh... Yeah. 
And then we can all make videos on YouTube about, oh, yeah, I could do that back in 2000, blah, blah. <laughs> well, what I think we'll do, we're now running out about with the music included. We're going to be running at close to two hours. So I think if I've got agreement from you, good gentlemen, we'll...